Hello my disco pimps and welcome back to Persona Palooza. This is Persona 2 Innocent Sin. And if you hear background noise when I talk, it's because the fan is turned up to like high blast in my room right now because it's just so hot, it's ridiculous. Anyways, in the last episode, we managed to get two of the four skulls. Uh, let us let us just go. I don't want to spend a lot of time on the intro. Um, in between episodes, I found out that this game is very different than Sona 1 in the aspect of Ultimate Personas. Because uh, apparently, two, two or three of my characters already have their Ultimate Personas. Which would be Hades and the other one Lisa got, I think. It's kind of weird. You don't fuse your ultimate personas in these games. You get them from Philemon. And apparently I was supposed to get everyone's masks from Mount Iwato. And Philemon would have given me my ultimate persona. So I did miss the ultimate persona train. That is a shame. Kind of sucks ass. But whatever. It, it's not like... It's not like the persona I currently have sucks immensely. Like, Volcanus Prime is an extremely good persona. I just feel something else, though. Alright. Fast forward. This is a chill temple. All right. Who's here fighting who? Oh, you're gonna get shot again? Yep, they got shot again. Yay! I got my daily dose of uh, mass circle members being shot. Are you gonna run away again, boss man? You probably are. And if you are running away, that also probably means you're going from temple to temple running away. A piece of shit, bro. Leaving your men to die on the front lines. Actually... Here. Do them, because we all know he's gonna run away. Rendering my attacks on him meaningless. have more health. Never mind. Yep, there he goes. What I say? See ya. All right, same thing. <clears throat> hey, it's pretty faint, but do you feel that? It's a sense of oppression. My persona's telling me that it's him, your imposter in, is here, Kazuya. I'm getting some bad vibes. Yes. It's never good when you're fighting against protagonist Kun. Protagonist Kun will kick your ass. Looks like Mustache Man hasn't given up on the skulls yet. Let's get him all first and give him a good scare. Okay, I think I get it now. Each element rules over another one. For example, fire rules over wind, but it's subservient to water. So if we remove the fire skull, water has no underling, making it weaker. But wind has no master, making it stronger. It's all probably affects each temple's structure and how the strong the demons in it are. 
Oh, I see. I just need to stop father for those children's sake as well. I won't end my life as a puppet. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. All right. Fast. Alright, Relief Hall version 2, I guess. Wonder how many this one has. Oh, look. Hey! You guys did- you won! Congratulations, now we're gonna kill you. Alright. How'd you guys even get in this far if the last relief call had members of the soldiers? Actually, I guess they could have started brawling and then some of them could have ran away deeper. Probably the same thing. Chinyan, it's still fate, but I think we're getting closer. When I saw the fake you at the caracol, it really scared me. It's like you were in an unfeeling machine. I'm protagonist, Kun. Leo. It embodies the element of fire and symbolizes justice and leadership, as well as generosity and life. Kazuya, it's a constellation worthy of you. Hell yeah, bro. Sure, Kaschan's a stand-up guy, and I admit I get weird sense of security around him. But isn't June laying it on a little thick? If you keep putting on public displays of brohood with him, you're gonna find a raging bull of envy after you. Ah, not again. What the fuck, man? That's abuse right there. Wait, what? What were you saying to him, June? He said that Leo is fitting for Kazuya. Don't you think, Lisa, he's strong, free, and won't be tied down by anyone? And that's all, really all you said? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, that you hit him for no reason. And what are you on? What are you on the floor? You're in my way, Akichi. Something's fishy about those two. <laughs> the Taurus is perfect for Lisa. Ow. Every now and then, Jinko just loses it completely. She goes crazy at anything having to do with Kaschan. Looks like it. There's your full of envy, I guess. You're the same thing as Lisa. I was only being poetic when I said that Jun Kun was like your shadow, but... This time, we really are facing your shadow. You'll be fighting yourself. Hang in there, Kazuya Kun. Hell yeah, bruh. God damn. Yo. Oh.
Oh, I guess this one doesn't have a voice, eh? <laughs> Good job making it here, Kazuya. I'm your shadow. I know full well what goes in your heart. You dream of a career, but you don't want a job because there's nothing else you want to do. Your circumstances won't allow it. You have no chance of going to college. Struggling now won't change the facts. Ooh, you can't go and get a spooky education. Therefore, you are awful. Ooh, fucking get out of here, stupid crap. And so you gave up. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, you're completely wrong. Cause I'm here trying to kick your ass. When will you stop deluding yourself? Real you gave up on his dreams. Gave up on his entire life. What are you talking about? A man like you could never save even one person, let alone the world. Why, I bet that deep down inside you actually hate June. Nope. He's my bro. Why I bet that deep down inside you actually hate June. I don't hate him. What a hypocrite. Either that or you really are Mr. Perfect. Well, I'll take mi I'll, I'll take number two there. <laughs> no, it's that hypocrisy that makes you who you are. You understand your true nature. Wait, so I really am Mr. Perfect? And I haven't given up on my life? But you like saying this bullshit anyways, why? Whatever. Too bad there's no meaning in an outlook like that. Prepare to die here. Come at me, bro. Come at me. You can never defeat me with such a weak persona. I'll kill you and take your place. Now draw your weapon. Sure, bro. Silent protagonist stare down. You're probably weak to Aqua and Null against Fire, so I might have to actually hit you with my sword attack for that. Rodine. Foamy lover. What the fuck? Has that always been there? Foamy lover? That's kinda. Hmm. That's that's a name, I guess. Oh wait. Use crescent mirror. Magarilla. Bloody honeymoon. Bro, you're about to die so hard right now. You're about to die so hard right now, bro. Okay, I need to have... Kazuya attack actually. Maybe after everyone does their thing. Gigantic fist. Bro, you suck. Didn't I? S I thought you were about to pop out your persona or something. And it's like the final powerful MC persona. But you're not doing that at all. You're just being a little bitch. All right, so gonna be attack. Twenty-two may not be much in the way of attacking power, but it's something. Get out of here, sucker! Tired of your bullshit. 
Oh, you're already in the red. Bro, you suck ass. Couldn't you say I couldn't beat you without a more powerful persona? Turns out you were the hypocrite, eh, bro? You can gigantic fist however many times you want. You're not gonna win against me. Get wrecked. what I expect for myself. But even if you beat me, you can't get rid of your own shadow. I'll always be there. Silent protagonist stare. Flick of lighter. As a confirmation that I know. Perfect. We're almost there. We're almost at level 55. Hallelujah. I deserve your hatred. I don't mind if you hate me. Don't be so mopey, June. You're doing your best to make amends. That's enough in my book. I don't hate you, bro. Mine too, and hey, we're friends. The mass circle isn't just your responsibility, June. Welcome. You should have more trust in your friends. True friends are those you can rely on when you're suffering the most. Lighter flick. Kazuya kun, let's get this done. Hell yeah, bro. I am the skull of raging fire. My lump slumber is disturbed. Wind will go unchecked and water will lose its purpose. We finished here. All right, off to the next temple. Okay, then. Off to the next temple we go indeed. But first, we have to do a couple of things. First off, heal everybody. Use a lot of our chewing souls to get their SP back. And now, let's go over here to Satomi Tadashi and buy him more of everything. This is not the song that was previously playing here. Or maybe it was and I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, alright. So, let's go to Lisa's house and see if we won the raffle at all. Oh, this is not where Lisa's house is. Come on, baby. Tell me I won. I've already tried this five times. Come on. Weepstakes. Come on. God damn it. Six times a charm, I guess. Eat a soccer. Time to go to the detective agency. Hey! You wanna send in 99 more of my tickets, Tamaki? I swear, this one better win. I swear. Alright, so where's, where's the last temple? I already went to this one. This, yep. So... Yumazaki... I think I already went to this one. Yeah, this is the Scorpio Temple. I went to the one in Naoba. Kunan, I think is the one I didn't go to. Yep. Alright, so. Oh, this is not the entry. Horus Temple. Damn, why does this one feel like... Jeez. Such god tier music.
Yo. Oh, hey, they're winning again. You guys are on a two winning streak, bro. But now you're gonna die. Congrats. Man, we already know yours are gonna die. I don't know why they keep making me fight these guys in the relief halls. Alright. Same crap. Yep. For someone who's going to be fighting herself soon, Lisa seems pretty relaxed. This is all thanks to Jun-kun, Akichi-kun, and you too, of course. I think you'll be fine no matter when I go. Taurus, it's associated with Earth and symbolizes love and beauty, as well as wealth and fertility. Tauruses are also known to be extremely jealous, so I think this constellation fits Lisa like a glove. I agree. I don't know about the love and beauty part, but the jealousy stuff hits like the na uh, nail on the head. She looked great with horns. <clears throat> Surprised you didn't come over and punch him, Lisa. Bana, extremely jealous? Don't call it that, June. Call it intense, intense love instead. No. How about no? Goddamn wrong way. Out of my way. Whoa. Alright, it's time for Lisa to face her true self. Her shadow self. Hey! What's up? Welcome, one and all, to my shrine. You look like you've got a real weight off your chest now that you're uh, spilling the beans about not speaking a word of English. Yeah, no thanks to you. But what about all the other stuff you haven't mentioned yet, huh? Like swindling money from, uh, perverted old farts? And experimenting with those nasty drugs? It's a little late to regret it all, even if you were rebelling against Steven. Poor Mommy and Miho got dragged into your mess too. They all just want to get close and bask in my glory. Talk about an ego trip. I mean, you were only dogging Kazuya cause, uh, you were after the same status that you hated everyone else exploiting you for. Damn. You say you hate being different, but really you want to be noticed. That's why you went for Kazuya, the center of everyone's attention. Or she just likes the guy that's the most popular, I guess. I mean, I guess that's what you said. You're desperate for someone to lean against, but you don't believe in anyone. Honestly, what a selfish little bitch you are. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Damn! World star! You're absolutely right, I was a pathetic little girl for a long time, but I'm different now, I found what I lost. You should remember, if you're me, my dream 10 years ago was to marry my first love, Kazuya. Stop! The Kazuya I loved died back then, so he'll always be mine. I won't let anyone tell me how I feel, Kazuya's feelings are his business, but mine feelings are mine. And even if Kazuya hates me, I love him. I don't give a damn about Kazuya's feelings. Kazuya is mine and mine alone. Bam. Okay then. I can sense you and your other self. It pisses me off. You're just a speed bump in my way. So... 
I shall return you to the soil. I am the goddess of licentiousness and religion. Now, come to death's embrace. Nope. Venus be Venus over here. That's my line! I am the goddess of beauty, virtue, and love. I am you. You are me. Let us now become one. Yeah, come at me, bro. Get her! You're gonna die just as fast as Kazuya did. Alright, so. Wait. No, Earth doesn't work on her. He's probably null against Earth. might be weak to win, so let's try win real quick. Actually, no, screw that. This does double attack. So, we can try... We can try win with him. And Kazuya can Aggie Dime. Bloody Honeymoon. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you have Dark Foamy Lover. Dang. Trying to charm everyone. Akichi, snap out of it, bro. Come on. Please, nobody else get charmed. Good. Of course, Akichi would be the one to get charmed, though. I'm not surprised. Man, I remember the first shadow fight from the first temple was at least semi-challenging. This has just gotten very easy. And it's just because I leveled up five times. Like, I, I don't have to worry about healing for a bit. Snap out of it, dude. Kichi. You asshole, snap out of it. Man. Alright, June, since you have the thingy, do that. And Kazuya can, can beat June as well. Oh, you're almost dead. Nice job. Oh. All right. He's almost dead, guys. Let's hope Akichi snaps out of the charm soon. Such a good song. Well, there you go. Get wrecked, son. I'm sure you already know. But this isn't the end of me. Light and shadow. Neither can part with the other. I understand now. I admit it. That you have a place in my heart. Yes. Good. We got all the skulls now. My other self. Your inner garden has become a place of radiant splendor. There is no need to fear the works of darkness any longer. Yay!
Kazuya, don't worry about what I said earlier. I just had to speak my mind. I don't want to be a drag on you. <laughs> Not the best time to bring it up, right? Lighter flick. I'm only interested in Maya. Yeah. I'm only interested in June. Yeah. My heart belongs to Akichi. Mmm, yes. Alright, I'm glad you feel that way. Huh? Really? I'm gonna hold you to that, you know? I'm so happy that I'm getting a little misty-eyed. Good for you. He is as passionate as ever. It's tough being a lady killer, isn't it? <laughs> Lisa's still as blunt as I remember her to be. Seriously? That was one hell of a confession, even I was blushing. I'm not letting a mopey guy and an old lady get the best of me. Oh, are you declaring war? I'm not gonna go down without a fight. Now, shall we? Get the skull, hurry! I am the skull of everlasting Earth. If my slumber is disturbed, water will run rampant and wind will have no destination. Now we have the full s the four skulls, the next one's finally... Oh! How are you getting reception? Right? We're in the sky. Hello, Maya speaking. Maki-san. Maya-san, sorry to bother you, but we've got trouble. Whoa, calm down. What's wrong, Tamaki-san? Calm down and... What? Prince Taurus took Miss Ideal. He, str he struck when the chief and I were out. Sorry, Tadashi was here, but he got creamed pretty bad. And from what Tadashi said, the bull guy was saying something about a sacrifice. Oh, shit. Of course, how careless of me. The woman who authorized the lock, uh, the in Laketh with my father was named Maya Okamura. Father said she would be sacrificed when the oracle was fulfilled as the one with the Mayan blood. She is the Mayan maiden. That perv's alive? What do you want with a middle-aged lady like her for? Their destination is no doubt Sababa. We should be able to follow them through Heaven's Gate at Sevens, the Nauratu Stone. Oh. The secret of the Nauratu that's the secret of the Nauratu stone? Gotcha. The sooner we leave, the better. Next stop, Sevens. No. Next stop. Next stop is actually dope-ass music, then end of outro. After then, we will go to Sevens. All right, so... No, I went to the wrong. We're supposed to be going to Hira to Yumasaki, goddammit. But first, as always, gonna check the raffle. Gonna buy a couple of things. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to enter the raffle again, right? Probably not. If uh, Tamaki is taking care of her guy in the detective agency. Oh, so there's different music for every single Satomi Tadashi of the different areas. Because this is the OST I remember. Alright. Snazzy music. All right. Time to go to Renga Dai. It's time for Silver Man Manor. Please win. Thank you for entering our sweepstakes. Congratulations, you have been selected as the winner. Finally, Jesus. Please accept this supernova as your prize. We encourage you to continue entering in the future. That has to be a super powerful as fuck weapon. Holy shit. Yes, it is. Well, there you go, supernova. I guess it couldn't hurt to try entering the sweepstakes again if it gives me all the characters optimal weapons. 
which I probably won't be able to win all of them anyways. Come on. Oh, I guess we can still enter the sweep the sweepstakes. All right. Now we're just gonna leave off the episode in Giga Macho, like we always do. <laughs> Kill music. This has become my Phantom Thieves hideout for this game. All right, so we've made a lot of progress today with the four skulls, and we're gonna enter the final dungeon soon. I think, at least I believe, Sababa has to be the final dungeon because we have to save Miss Ideal and beat Akichi's father. So that has to definitely be the final dungeon, and it probably is. So in between episodes, I'm gonna fuse a persona for the main character. And I think I can mutate Jun's persona to his optimal persona, at least from what I read online. So I'm gonna try doing that as well. Anyways, thank you all my disco pimps for watching this episode of Persona 2 Innocent Sin. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Keep pimping my pimps.